Here's an easy painted furniture makeover idea to transform a TV cabinet. It's Mindy and let's get started. I found this TV stand on Facebook Marketplace for $20 and I knew it would be perfect for my daughter's room. If you're new here, I've been working on my daughter's bedroom for a month or so, and I'll go ahead and leave links to the bed base and wood desk I recently made. But she also needed another piece of furniture for extra storage and maybe eventually a TV. To start this furniture makeover, I cleaned the piece really well. If you saw my coffee table makeover, I stressed that prepping is super important, so this is not a step to skip. I'm using TSP, which is a heavy duty cleaner and degreaser, but you could also use any cleaner that is made for degreasing. Once I finished cleaning with this, I did go back and wipe it down with some clean water to remove any residue. I decided to spray paint the door hinges, which you'll see a little bit later. So I removed those and I flipped the cabinet over to remove the wheels that were on the bottom because I knew I'd be adding legs to give the cabinet a little bit more height. Of course, I'll be keeping these wheels because it may come in handy for a future project. I then flipped it back over and sanded the entire cabinet with 120 grit sandpaper. This just removes any of the finish left after cleaning it and gives the paint a nice base to stick to. I did have to use a sanding sponge to get into the shelf space where my sander does not fit. And of course, I cleaned up all the sanding dust and wiped this down really well before starting the paint process. Now we're getting to the good part. The color I used is called Purple Ice. It's a very light purple that we picked out at Walmart. Right here, it's going to show up almost white looking on the screen, but it is purple. Uh, this is a latex paint, which isn't the best for furniture, but it's the color she wanted and I didn't want to order anything and have to wait for shipping. In the end, it worked out just fine. Here's a little tip I always use. I, uh, store bag to line my smaller paint trays so I can just reuse it. So I started painting with the cabinet upside down in order to get to the upper part of the interior cabinet and the shelf opening. I started out with a brush to get in all the corners and seams really well and then I went in with a roller to cover all the flat surfaces. I did the same with the sides, making sure to roll over the brushed area for a smooth finish. Now, because this is a latex paint, I wanted to stick to the recommended dry time, which for this one is four hours. So I did paint this over a few days. This also gave it plenty of time to, you know, air out the room because I was painting this in her bedroom. When it came to the detail on the front here, I used one of my craft 
brushes to get into all those grooves. For the cabinet doors, I wanted to give them a little upgrade and cover up that dated inlay. So I used this beaded trim to cover that area. I got this idea from someone on Instagram, so I'll go ahead and link her page in the description. One thing is I ended up being short on the trim because I miscalculated, but rather than going out and buying one more piece, I decided to use some scrap end pieces from uh, 2x4s that I ripped down, and these fit perfectly. This is how it's gonna come together. To attach these pieces, I used wood glue and my nail gun with 5 8 inch brad nails. You can also see where I filled the gaps at the end of that last piece of trim and an extra hole from the old hardware with some wood filler. Looking back, I wouldn't have used a nail gun because it was harder to fill those holes and the beaded detail was somewhat uneven but it's not very noticeable. So when the first coat of paint was fully dry on the outside, I was able to add the legs. If you're interested in how to make these, check out the desk video that is linked in the description. These are very simple to make and add a modern look to any furniture piece. I used some wood screws to attach the legs directly to the base where the wheels were before. And I also added a stretcher to the center. Go ahead and comment stretcher if you saw the desk video and saw my struggle with the base. For the rest of the cabinet, I just used the paint, which has a primer, and applied two coats. But for the top, I used an additional coat of primer because I noticed a couple of spots that were stained and could possibly bleed through. I also primed the doors, but mainly to get good coverage on that wood trim detail. The hardware is spray painted with this metallic gold by Rust-Oleum. And for the wood detail, I used this deco art metallic gold, which took about three coats to cover the wood. After sealing the doors, it was time to put the hinges back on. Then I applied two coats of sealer to the rest of the cabinet. I used this polycrylic, which you'll see in just a second. There it is, in the satin finish, which is also the finish of the paint. All in, I spent around $50 in supplies, including the cabinet, and this project took about six hours to complete. And here is the final look. I know this isn't the typical color you see for furniture makeovers, but my daughter likes it and that's all that matters. If you enjoy furniture makeovers, go ahead and leave a hammer emoji in the comments to let me know. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. As always, thanks for watching.